Okay, so this is the second video in the linear equations series and in this particular video we're going to start looking at where an equation has been presented with a bracketed term as part of the linear equation and what we're trying to do is solve it for a value of x. What I mean by that is let's say for instance that we have something like uh, this, so we have 5 x minus 4 equals 22 and as part of the exam paper what they want to do is work out the value of x. Okay, there is a step that you need to take place before you solve for the value of x and that is to be able to get rid of these brackets. And like we said before in the first video we talked about how uh, everything in algebra needs to balance and how we balance along the equals sign. So those are the two things that we need to look at. The first thing is, is I'm going to get rid of the brackets. And the way that I will do that is this term here, 5, needs to be multiplied by x and it also needs to multiply minus 4. Okay. So where we have then is 5 times x is 5x, and then we have minus 4 here. So 5 times minus 4. It's a positive number that's multiplied by a negative number. So 5 times minus 4 will be minus 20. Nothing changes on the right-hand side because everything now still equals 22. And it is also a very good habit to get into when you're solving algebraic equations to make sure that you keep the equal sign there but also you write in the left and the right hand sides. Okay, now if you look at the uh, first video it talked about how we get rid of a minus number or a positive number on one side and what we do is we cancel this out by adding 20 onto both sides of the equation. Okay, if I add 20 to this side, I've got minus 20 and positive 20. Uh, what I'm going to do is cancel those two out because minus 20 plus 20 is zero. So on this side, I now have 5x on its own. Okay. On the other side, I have 22 plus 20 because I've added 20 to both sides. So 22 plus 20 is 42. Then I have a value of 5x and I, really I just want one single value of x. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 5. Divide by 5 there and divide by 5 there. And if I do that, 5 divided by 5 is x on its own equals 42 divided by 5 is 8 and 2 fifths. So 5 eighths are 40 and then I have 2 fifths left over. If you want that as a decimal I can make that 8.4 and if you look at some of the other videos it will show you how to convert from fractions to decimals. In order to calculate whether this is correct, what I would do then is feed that 8.4 back into my original equation and make sure that if I have a value of 8.4 as x, then 5 times 4.4 as it would be there, because 8.4 take away 4 is 4.4, equals 22. So I'll just write that out, so it will be 5 x minus 4 equals 22 and all I'm doing is I'm just going to check by putting this value of 8.4 into here. So I have 5 and 8.4 so this will be 8.4 minus 4 is 4.4 equals 22. Well 5 times 4.4 is 22 so 22 equals 22 so my answer of 8.4 or 8 and 2 fifths, if you prefer to use fractions, would be correct.
Um, I hope that's okay. If you have a look at the next video, what we're going to do is have a look at a question where we have uh, values of x on both sides and we need to then solve and calculate the value of x.